Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about blind speeds. What do you mean by blind speeds and where these blind speeds will occur? Blind speeds will occur in empty radar. Mainly, blind speeds occur in MTI radar. So when we are measuring the moving target indication uh, indicating radars uh, that means uh, with which velocity the target is moving in the moving MTI radars if we are finding the moving targets there we can have this problem called blind speed. What do you mean by blind speed? Suppose consider a radar system consider a radar system that is nothing but MTI radar system one target is there in the vicinity of this radar system and assume that the target is in motion a moving target in that case if the MTA radar is unable to identify that the target is in motion then that is known as blind speed okay I will tell you when will it when it will occur okay so blind speed is nothing but in the vicinity of MTA radar system one moving target is there but though it appears as a stationary target that is nothing but blind speed of the MTA radar so the moving target the moving target appears as stationary target stationary target for MTA radar when it will occur when the Doppler frequency is the integral multiples of integral multiples of pulse reputation frequency pulse repetition frequency so Doppler frequency if the Doppler frequency is the integral multiplication of pulse repetition frequency like 1 FP 2 FP 3 FP then the resultant Doppler frequency will be 0 that means the moving target appears to be as stationary target so F D is equal to N F P so this situation occurs when Doppler frequency is equal to integral multiples of in, uh, pulse repetition frequency like N into F P so 1 F P 2 F P 3 F P in all these cases the target will be appearing as stationary target I will tell you how so consider this delay line canceller I have already explained this delay line canceller in the previous uh, uh, video so the output of MTA radar up to this it is the MTA radar output so the output of MTA radar is a bipolar video pattern MTA output I will write here MTA output the output of this uh, MTA radar is a bipolar video pattern uh, in order to display on PPI displays the bipolar video pattern has to be converted into unipolar video pattern so that's why we are using delay line canceller to convert the bipolar video pattern into unipolar video pattern and it it keeps only the moving target echoes and eliminates all the stationary information uh, already I have explained here we have taken something like a, a voltage that is coming out from this receiver and this input is given to the subtractor circuit subtractor now it will be having two signals V1 and V2 and output of subtractor V out which is V out is equal to V1 minus V2 okay full wire rectifier what it will do it converts the AC signal into DC signal nothing but it keeps only the DC component and the output to represent on the PPI display in the process of this delay line canceller only we have the problem called delay line uh, sorry what is that blind speed see the output waveform what we will get so V naught is equal to 
v1 minus v2 that is equal to already i have calculated how v1 and v2 are being calculated uh, v1 is nothing but just we have taken direct output from the receiver output and v2 is the output of the delay that means some amount of delay is being added okay so if you want i will write here where v1 is equal to something like k sin 2 pi f d t okay so after receiver we will be having only doppler frequency component all the information related to transmitted signal frequency will be eliminated because the receiver is having some detector in, in it and v2 is equal to k sin what is the v2 v2 is the output of delay line it is the output of delay. Now, how much delay we are giving? One pulse repetition frequency or one pulse repetition time period. So, 2 pi F D T minus capital T where T is the pulse repetition period. Now, when we are giving these two to the subtractor, subtractor will perform the subtraction of these two signals uh, using your sign formula like uh, sign A minus sign B. We have got this final notation. I have calculated it in the previous video. If you want, you can go back and see the uh, delay line canceller operation. Then you will get the notation like uh, 2K sign pi F D capital T. Uh, cos 2 pi f d t minus capital T by 2 minus some arbitrary constant. If you want to take some arbitrary constant here, like a phi naught here in this case, and here it is phi naught. Some arbitrary constant, arbitrary constant you can consider and you can neglect no problem. So, this is the V0. V0 is the output of subtractor. See, if you see this output expression 2k sin pi f dt, what is this 2k sin f dt? The 2k sin pi f dt, this is nothing but it decides the amplitude. It is the amplitude of the output signal. And this is the phase representation in terms of cos. This is nothing but phase of the output signal. So, in this amplitude 2k sin pi f dt, when the component amplitude becomes 0, when the subtractor output becomes 0, the output of MTI radar becomes 0. when pi f d t is equal to 0 for all these times entirely the output becomes 0 because sin pi f d t sin 0 0 ok so in general we can write it as 0 or for pi or for 2 pi or for 3 pi in general we can write it for n pi hope you understand ok so sin 2 pi sin pi f d t if this component is equal to 0 sin 0 becomes 0 if this component is sin uh, pi f d t becomes pi sin pi 0 if this component pi of dt is 2 pi, sin 2 pi 0. So, in general for all the pi values or 0 value, sin becomes 0. So, we can write it as pi f d capital D is equal to n into pi. n into pi. So, pi pi cancelled and what will be the value of f d? f d is equal to n by capital T. What is T here? where T is the pulse repetition period. So, we can write it as T is equal to 1 by pulse repetition frequency Fp. Okay. So, simply therefore, we can substitute here Na to Fp. This is what I told you in the beginning. 
okay so what happens when the received signal frequency suppose if it is having the doppler shift of the component which is equal to the integral multiples of pulse repetition frequency like 1 fp or 2 fp 3 fp then the resultant signal will be having zero output in the empty response which leads to assumption that there is no moving target in the vicinity of empty radar but actually whenever fd component is a non zero component it is the meaning that some moving target is there but because of the equation that fp fd is equal to like if the resultant doppler frequency shift is equal to something like multi integral multiples of pulse rotation frequency then it leads to an assumption called there is no moving target what do you mean by fd fd is if fd is a non zero value if fd equal to zero then there is no moving target if fd is a non zero value if fd is not equal to zero then only we can say that there is a moving target there is a moving target but be because of this equation like if fd sorry if it is fd if fd is a non zero component then it, there is no, then there is a moving target but if f d is equal to n into fp n into fp means it is a non zero but because if n fd is equal to n fp then mti output is equal to zero this is called this is called blind speed blind speed so even though there is a moving target in the vicinity of mti radar we are assuming that the target is a stationary target because of this condition so simply it will be discarded through the delay line canceller in the output of delay line canceller we will get zero response for that moving targets this is called blind speed so if you write what is the velocity of that target which is there in the blind speed so we know the formula velocity vr is equal to relative velocity in terms of fd fd is equal to 2 vr by lambda we know this formula when we were doing the calculations related to cw radar we have calculated fd is equal to 2 vr by lambda thereby vr is equal to <coughs> lambda into fd by 2 so substitute fd here n lambda fp by 2 this is the relative velocity with which the target is moving in the blind speed condition okay so blind speed occurs in only mti radar it will not occur in any other type of radar systems okay blind speeds occur in only mti radar and another thing is blind speed okay it is occurring how to avoid this so blind speed can be avoided by considering more than one pulse repetition frequency in the transmitting section okay so instead of transmitting a single uh, pulse repetition frequency if you are transmitting more than one prf then the resultant uh, mti response will will be uh, not suffering from this blind speed okay such case is known as such case is known as multiple or staggered staggered pulse repetition frequencies so when we are using this multiple or staggered pulse repetition frequencies the blind speed effect can be eliminated this is the concept of blind speed which is very very important and easy also thank you